couldn't figure out our last act. Let's see if they can get back on track with this one. Hi, I'm Michael O'Brien. I'm proud of my Irish heritage. I always wear this hat as a way to connect with my roots. It's an O'Brien family heirloom. Family means everything to me, and my daughter loves to help me perform. My first glimpse of watching magic was actually watching a street magician perform, and it blew me away. Incredibly, he was happy to share his secrets with me. And he let me stand behind him as he flashed all of his moves. If it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be doing magic right now. Tonight, I'll be performing a trick created by my good friend, Matthew Garrett. It takes a classic of magic and puts a spin on it that no one has ever seen before. Let's hope that it leaves Penn and Teller spinning too. Give it up for the magic of Michael O'Brien. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. As you could probably tell from my name, from my hat, that I am a stout Irish lad. In fact, speaking of stout, ah, there it is. This will come in handy for the stout. <laughs> now for the really cool part. Cheers. In fact, can I have Penn Teller, can you come up and join me here on stage, please? Sure. Yeah, quick little swig. Pen, if you can go ahead and have a seat right over here. Tell her if you can join me right over here. Thank you guys so much. I would like to show you both the most magical thing I know with the most magical object that I own. Of course, I am talking about my wedding ring. That's very nice. Thank you. You can have a look if you'd like. Oh, sorry. It tends to jump back onto my finger. That's my wife's favorite part. It keeps me out of trouble, you know what I mean? <laughs> but do me a favor, Pen. Would you mind to hold out your left hand just like this? I'm going to place my ring on the tips of your fingers. Okay. We are going to try something with my wedding ring and this hoop. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> but like I said, the ring does tend to jump right back onto my finger. Did I mention that's my wife's favorite part? <laughs> but I don't want to confuse you because this isn't a one ring trick or even a two ring trick. In just a second, you're gonna see my wedding ring jump from one hoop right onto another one. Now, of course, what goes on must come off. But do me a favor, go ahead and uh, feel around there. Does that feel like that ring comes off at all? It doesn't. No? And uh, do me a favor, if you don't mind, too. Can you feel right around there? Make sure that, that doesn't come off. Yeah, you can use the other hand, too. Yeah, in fact, go ahead, please. Have a, have a look. Feel around that ring. Of course, as you can probably imagine, the ring tends to jump right back onto my finger. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, obviously, Michael is using some kind of gimmicked ring. Maybe it's special in some way. So um, I'm noticing that you're wearing uh, quite a beautiful ring on your finger there yourself. Um, can I can I borrow this one? Sure. Yeah. In fact, I don't want I don't want you to think I'm going to do any switches or anything like that. So we're going to try something rather interesting. Okay. Tell her. Can you look straight up at the ceiling for me? You're going to lean your head all the way back. Perfect. Do not move. Go ahead and place your ring right on to Teller's forehead. On Teller's forehead? Yes. Place my ring on Teller's forehead. Right about there should be perfect. <laughs> We're gonna try something now with your ring, your forehead, and a hoop. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor, if you can have a seat one more time. Okay. I'm gonna have you cup your hands together like this. The ring is actually gonna pop right off of the hoop and into your hands. Please catch it just like this. Very nice. Now, I know it's always a ring linking through another ring, but the cool thing is, is it can actually be any object, just like this bottle opener. You see, the ring can pass straight through, even that long, thick part of metal and through to both sides. 
you can get the bottle opener to come off as well. Now, every time I do this, it's always the same kind of thing, right? It's always a ring linking through another ring, or at the very least, a ring-like object. So I thought I would show you something that I'm sure you have never seen before. Would you mind to go ahead and open up the contents of that bag, please? Heavy, yes? This is a solid steel ball bearing, much like the ones that you might see my grandfather produce in the mills of Belfast. I'm gonna take this ring and pass it straight through this Belfast ball bearing. creates quite the convincing illusion. In fact, I will show you all around the ball and it melts straight on. I know what you're thinking, Penn, and yes, you can have a closer look. Go ahead and grab that for me, feel around, make sure that that actually has melted straight through the ring. Yes, it has. Is it on there? Yep. Nice and solid. Ladies and gentlemen, the Irish linking rings. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, so good to see you. You're very like, brave to do it right with them oh. up there in your grill. I'm not gonna lie, putting that ring on his forehead, it's got my heart going. I mean, I don't yeah. think you could get any closer than that. One of my favorite things about magic is literally putting the magic in their hands. I don't think many magicians can say they literally put the magic on their foreheads. <laughs> that is a first. Well, hopefully the method went over his forehead too, but we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Do you perform in a lot of bars? Actually, yes, I do a lot of like restaurant style magic. I'll do magic performing behind a bar. You must be really good to keep the attention of a drunk, rowdy bar. I feel like my magic is very warm and inviting and it's not so much about look at what the cool magician can do. Yeah. It's more about the experience of we're gonna do this together. We're gonna have this fun, magical moment amongst us. Do you have any funny stories from your magic life? I do. <laughs> so uh, I was performing actually the linking rings, believe it or not, of all things. And uh, I, I blew this woman's mind so much to the point that she actually reached into her purse, took out a vial of holy water, splashed it on me, grabbed her kids, and ran up out of there. Oh, no. <laughs> sometimes people suspend that disbelief a little too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Michael, let's see if your magic methods went over their heads and you earned yourself a trophy. Hello, Michael. Really Hello. nice, really nice. You know, the big problem, of course, with the linking rings is it's a arbitrary prop that has nothing to do with anything. It's just, uh, it's very hard to do a good routine with the linking rings. And it takes an Irish guy to work out a way to do the Chinese linking rings in a really new way. Because you bring it into the world, starting out with your uh, wedding ring is a really, really nice idea. Uh, the stuff with my ring, Teller's forehead, really, really beautiful. A lot of this is, uh, if someone's studying magic, there's a lot to learn here. You do multiple methods for the, uh, for the same effect, which is one of the most powerful things in all of magic. And I want to compliment you on, uh, you know, uh, a lot of magicians like to keep us at a distance, but you had the balls, the big Irish balls, to bring us right up there on top of you. And uh, it's a really wonderful routine, very, very good use. You know, you would think after thousand years, <laughs> we would have seen everything that could be done with the linking rings, but uh, you came up with some new stuff. That's really amazing, but uh, I think I've said a few things in there that let you know that we have the key to the ring thing, and uh, uh, thank you very much, but I don't think you fooled us. So did that ring a bell, Michael? Does he know how you did your trick? I think maybe I might have hit him a little too hard and jump-started that <laughs> thing in his forehead that just let him in on the method. I, I don't think I fooled you guys today. All right. Well, thank you so much. Michael O'Brien. <laughs> we'll be right back in the flick of a magic wand. Stay tuned. Yeah.